Hey everybody, LogicBomb82 here with the Minecraft Union. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Citadel Forged with Fire dedicated server for Windows. This game just came out today. Uh, they they announced it as a $25 game and then they decided to give everybody an additional 20% off. So you can pick it up right now for 20 bucks. So go out and grab it. So to get started you're going to need Steam CMD. So you can download that from the web. Just go on the internet, obviously, and go to your Google and type in Steam CMD. Most of you probably already have this by now, especially if you're watching my other videos. Um, but if not, just click on here. And then you want the Windows version right here, and you're going to want to download this. So this link right here will download it for you. Click on that. And you're going to want to save it, save it in a file once it's done downloading. Go to it and extract it into its own folder, which is what I'd recommend. I usually put mine on the desktop, or you can put it on your C drive, wherever you want. So here's mine. Um, yours is only going to have steamcmd.exe in it right now if you just installed it. So go ahead and run that. It's going to download some more files, and then it's going to ask you to log in. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to show you a quicker way to do it. Once you have that downloaded and all the files downloaded, you, I want you to right click on your desktop go new and go text document and then you're this is going to be your updater and your launcher for citadel so i don't know if you want whatever you want to name it but name it name it that so i named mine citadel updater i already named it up top so i'm not gonna do that <clears throat> whoops i forgot to put that so at the end put a, a dot dat and if it doesn't change into a bat, you need to go up to your view and make sure you have file name extensions checked right here. Because if it's not checked, when you do that, it actually puts that in the name, which you don't want. You want it to change the file extension. So make sure that's checked and then you can make it a dot bat. Once you're done with that, you're gonna want to right click on it and hit edit. You can edit with notepad um, or notepad plus plus, which is what I recommend. It's free, download it. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna, <clears throat> we're gonna actually go to a different page now so what you need to do now is go to the Steam discussion forums, which is right here. So just log into Steam, go to discussion. You don't have to be logged in. You can do it through a browser if you want. Go to the discussions, and then at the very top, they have a dedicated server setup guide. And that's what we're going to use because it makes it easy to copy and paste. So this is basically telling you everything we've done. Um, you want to get down to right here. So step three, you want to copy this echo off all the way down to the end right click on it copy now go back up to your dot bat that you opened and copy paste it in oops there you go so there's what it looks like with it copied and pasted in and that's all you need to do right there so just hit file save hit exit now when you run this what it does is it logs into steam cmd for you and it actually auto updates Citadel and validates it as well. Sorry, it doesn't launch the game. I'm not sure why I said that earlier. But we're going to make that dot bat here in a second. So once it's done validating, it'll download all the files. It's about 2.2 gigs. So once that's done, then you need to go up here to your Steam apps, common, and then you should see the files right here, Citadel server. <clears throat> and this is where we're going to make another dot bat. This is where we're going to launch the server. So do the exact same procedure, not new, text document, name it whatever you want. I named mine uh, cfwfserver.bat. And then you're going to want to go in and edit it. And you're going to want to put in citadelserver.exe space hyphen no steam client space hyphen game space hyphen server space hyphen log. That's all you need to put in there. Once you have that in there, hit file save. All right, now you want to start your server. So the dot bat that you just made, you want to execute it. So double click on it. It's going to pop up a window that looks like this. This is it starting your server and creating the world and everything. Uh, depending on your server specs and how long it takes for it to load can vary a little bit. Well, um, I would let it stay here for at least a couple minutes. What you're looking for is in your Citadel folder back here under saved, you want this file, this folder, I mean, and then under uh, config, you want to be able to find this because th these aren't here until you start your server up. So once that is done, then you can shut your server down. So go back out to it, click on it, hit Control-C, 
it does take a couple seconds here to shut down and every time I've shut mine down it's, it gives me a crash error but everything seems to be fine my characters and everything are saving so I wouldn't worry too much about it right now wait for this air just to show you what it looks like there you go I just hit close the program afterwards so once that is done you want to go back out to the steam forms real quick um, and now we're going to go down, go down to the exact same thread and go to the configure your game server you're going to want to copy and paste all this right here so under configuring your game server now you want to go back to your server go into oops sorry so just to make it easy go into citadel and then saved which is your world now go to config win server and then you want to edit this game i and i I've already done mine, um, but when you open it up, it's blank. It's going to look like this right here. So what you want to do is you want to control V, all that stuff you just copied in there, which is control paste. And then this is all the info for your server. Um, I like to space mine out a little bit so it's a little easier to read instead of being on one line. Um, so that's what I've done on mine. I'll show you that here real quick. So this is what mine looks like now after I spaced it out. I left all the bottom stuff in one one line, but this stuff's all separate. This is where you can change your, your port. Um, just make sure you open your firewall for whatever ports you're using so people can connect to your server. Uh, this is where you set your password. So I mean, I need, you, know, you need to put that in there. And then your server name's right here and your password for the server's right there. So uh, you can put, set a player limit if you want it to be private or not. You can you can change the XP multiplier, all kinds of stuff right in here. If you scroll all the way down, just go one line at a time, you can see it all. There's quite a bit to change in there. So once you have all that set the way that you want, go File, Save. And then I had to do this, so I'm going to recommend you do this for now. Um, right click on the game I and I, and then go Properties, and then set this attribute to read only. For some reason, when I started mine, it was blanking out my game. I and I and I was losing all my settings until I did this and it seemed to fix it so now you're good to go and you're ready to start your server so go back out to your whatever you named your server.bat and launch it and once you have this done and make sure you don't forget to open your ports and everything once it's all done loading you can right click on and open your taskbar you should see this Citadel server Win64 running, and then also one down here called Citadel Server.exe. You want them both to be running. Um, and it does take a little bit to start up, so don't freak out if you don't see it right away. You can check by opening Steam. If you have Steam on your server client, which you might not, but I do, so I'll show you real quick how to check to make sure it's up and running. you want to go up to view servers and then if you click on the LAN tab right here LAN L-A-N and then you hit refresh it should so show you your server so I also have a seven days drive server running and then this one right here is a Citadel server so you see it's up and running so as long as you can see it there you should be good to go and that is how you set up a Citadel server. If you have any questions or comments, please post them on my channel. I'll try to help you the best that I can. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and game on, everybody.